is on. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. Please hold. Please hold. Seven minutes till boat launch. Seven minutes. You got him? Yep. <laughs> Scoop him, scoop him, scoop him, get underneath him! Get him! There you go, right there! What is going on YouTube? This is Toddy B. Ripping lips is on the shirt, you know. So I just got up to Lisa Lake here. I'm with my dad. Just got the boat out in the water. This is my second time up here. If you haven't seen the first video, a little bit slow day, go check it out. That's where I caught that uh tied my PB, five pound bass. Go check that video out if you haven't seen that already. Um, just launched a boat gonna get baited up here um, let's check the water town let's see how it looks no all right that finder not turning on right this second I will get that rectified and I will let you know what the conditions look like uh, but for now stay tuned because I think today's gonna be a pretty good day let's do it boys yeah, just this bad boy man that thing is moving good what's the water temp showing 55. 55, okay. It's already 4 degrees warmer than... Yeah, 55. 55 is good. It was only 47 or whatever it was when I was up here last. Yeah, and the Rangers were... Uh... So I got a... Chatterbait, a Senko, and a Pit Boss on. What are you starting with? One of these Senkos right here. Summer gill, or a melon pie. Another bass pro. Oh, <laughs> nah, I'm good. <laughs> there he is. Chatterbait. Wow, he smacked it right next to the boat. So they're chasing stuff. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, look at that. Look at he freaking choked that right at the boat. <laughs> oh, yeah. All righty. So you got paragliders or whatever they are. I don't know what they're called, but. Never seen that before. Turn that drag up. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, well, it could. It's probably. It's that musky. I can almost guarantee it. It's that musky. I can guarantee it is. Well, the net's right here. It's ready to go. Nope, it's a big bass. It's a big bass. I got him. Wow. Yeah, it's a good bass. That's a real good bass. Five. Is it in? Yeah. 
Hold on. Uh, four on a dot. Four? Four on a dot. I'll take it anyway. Yep. That's a fish getting ready to spawn right there. Yeah, baby. Come on, mama. Yep, that's a, that's a fish getting ready to spawn right there. Look at that, baby. It's a good fish. Ooh, baby. It's a really good fish. Look at that. Come on, bro. I freaking got caught up in a tree, and once I ripped it off that tree branch. Okay. All righty now. Oh my God, they're blowing up. Look at their, it's all over the place. Yo, I'm about to throw on a top water bait. That's what's about to happen. Yo, they are like blowing up on stuff like it's no tomorrow. Right at the boat. There was one right behind them too. Holy crap. Look at this fish. <laughs> yeah, baby, what is up? What is up? <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> right at the boat again. He chased all the way up. There was one right behind him. That one is three and a half. Three and a half. Yep. Three and a half or wow. Got that freaking four good ones within twenty minutes. Now it's just freaking uh Fade it out. Well, boys, we're wrapping her up. So you saw what happened in the morning. Uh, it was it was on fire for a good probably I'd say half hour. Now we got four bass. All within a half hour, um, one spot. It was like a literally a feeding frenzy. Um, I think they kind of slid in, um, slid into the seven, eight feet of water where we were, chomping them. Um, I was hitting them on chatter baits. My dad got one on a crankbait, uh, which we don't normally throw that stuff up here. Uh, a lot of soft plastics, but um, wind's kicking up, so hopefully you guys can hear me good. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, we, we caught four. Uh, unfortunately, it was all within a half hour, and then that was it. Um, it, it died, died out. Um, I think I had one other fish hooked for about two seconds, popped off. Um, it, it fizzled out. Uh, gorgeous day to be out, uh, but it fizzled out. What I want to wrap this video up with here, I was talking to my dad about this. Um, this is my proposal to the fish commission, the game commission for this lake with the quality of bass that we caught today. This is my opinion. I think personally what they should do is they should make this a the first ever trophy bass lake, not a big bass lake, a trophy bass lake in Pennsylvania. I think what they should do is 18, 19, I would say 18 or 19 inches or less. It should be no Argus. Catch and release, no keep. 20 or above, you can keep one fish. That's it. Trophy Bass Lake, catch and release under 19 inches. Keep this lake the best possible bass fishing lake in the area. Um, the bass are so healthy, they're awesome. Uh, that's my proposal. Um, if you like that, hit the thumbs up button, share this video, um, because honestly, I think that, to me, I think that's a, um, it's something that this lake needs. You know, the last thing I want to see this lake is, you know, after what this lake has gone through, uh, I don't want to see the lake get fished out and, and, and beaten up and, and ruined. So, um, 
and there's a freaking frog swimming right there in the water. Probably can't see it, but we saw multiple frogs swimming around. But anyway, that's my proposal. 19 or less, all catch and release, no harvest. 20 and above, you're allowed to keep one. Trophy Bass Lake, period. If you like that, hit the thumbs, bu thumbs up button. Share the video. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I don't know what you're doing. Subscribe to the channel, boss. Um, and we're going to wrap it up with that there. I'm going to pull the boat up on the trailer and get out of here. Probably hit up Cabela's. Uh, probably take a ride out to Cabela's today and, you know, spend some more money like, you know, like we always do. Um, but anyway, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, I thank you guys for watching. Hope you, hopefully you enjoyed the action today. Until next time, boys. Catch you on the water, baby. Fish on.